Hey guys, what the hell is happening? In today's video, I'm gonna go over all the gear I run, why I run it, and if you stay tuned, I'll give you a couple little tips and tricks on uh, a couple of cheap ways to find some gear to keep you looking fresh. So let's get right on into this video, boys. So right here, boys, this is my helmet. Let's check it out. Let's use my dad's dirty bike here as a stand. Ignore that the helmet's dirty. Uh, since I broke the collarbone, I've really been slacking on keeping up with cleaning the gear and everything. Just haven't really been too motivated. But ignore that. Ignore that. This right here, boys, is the Suami MX Jump. I've been running this specific model of helmet for, I think it's probably like my third one now. I absolutely love these helmets, and I'll tell you why. Super lightweight. Like, it's like, I know you guys can't see it through the video, but it's literally insane how light this helmet is. They're super comfortable. They fit your head great. And I've been running them for years. You know what? But let's go in my room. Let's check out the other models I've, you know, ran over the years. Flip the old light on. This right here is uh, another one I've ran. This is also an MX Jump. Uh, I, like I said, I just love these helmets. I think they're great. I really don't know how much review I can give here. I mean, they're super light. They're super comfortable. 10 out of 10 recommend. This is another one I ran. I ran this one for years, boys. Years. Um probably for like three or four years. It's probably my favorite, like, I don't know what you'd call this, I guess a design, right? This uh, Joker gambling theme, absolutely my favorite helmet I've ever ran. But uh, yeah, anyways, Suamis, ignore my dirty clothes here, but uh, Suamis, I would definitely go and pick one up if I were you guys. Now, just moving down on the frame here, we've got the helmet, now we've got the goggles. 100%. Um, I've been running these since I was probably, I'm going to say 14, man. Um, I've just been a big fan of 100% for a long time. Uh, what's cool is like most of uh, any models you get besides the race crafts. I know now they've come out with a few different models. So uh, this statement now won't uh, totally be true, but there for a long time, the same lens would fit in most of their goggles, and that's why I that's what I really liked about them. That you can get a brand new set of goggles for 25 bucks. I always thought they looked uh, super clean. Um, these ones right here don't look clean; they're dirty as all hell. But uh, you guys get what I'm saying. 100%. Um, I I got a lot of great things to say about them. Um, I've never really ran into any fogging issues or really anything like that. I've re honestly really never had any problems with them. Uh, but to be fair, I've never really ran anything else. So, I mean, take that for what you will, but I definitely recommend the 100% goggles, that's for sure. Now, as far as the chest protector, Liette. Uh, in my opinion, I think Liette makes some of the best protective gear. I think they make some of the best chest protectors, just in my opinion. Um, again, ignore that all my gear's dirty. But uh, yeah, I've been running this since I was like 17 and out of all the chest protectors I've ran throughout the years, this by far is my favorite. I'm gonna have to upgrade to a new one soon because check this out. Um, after, you know, four or five years, it's finally, finally ripped on me and it's hanging on there by a thread. So we'll have to upgrade soon, but I've gotten five years and a lot, a lot, a lot of ride time out of this dude. So if you guys are ever looking for a good high quality chest protector, 100% recommend Liette for sure. Now, as far as my gear, um, I've kind of ran a little bit of everything in my time. I keep coming back to fly for whatever reason. Um, I guess it's just because it's really big around here in the Missouri area, or it's just great gear in general, I don't know, but I keep coming back to it every time. Uh, this set right here, this fly kinetic gear, great, great, great gear. Got nothing bad to say about it. I've got some, uh, old MSR. I want to say this is the NXT. Yeah, the NXT model. Really like this stuff. I really only try to wear this though in the winter just because the jersey is a little bit more on the thicker side. Doesn't breathe as well. Um, this fly gear breathes like a champ. But my favorite gear, this set right here, this Troy Lee Designs. Boys, this shit is old as hell. I think like maybe it came out and I don't even know what a good year would be, I guess. Maybe 2014, something like that. Um, I don't even know what model it is, um, but the whole gear set's breathable. Um, as, along with the pants, the pants are super lightweight. This by far, 10 out of 10, is the best gear set I have ever had, period. 
And I'll tell you a funny story about this. So there was this kid named Logan Lowry. Used to be the man around here in the woods scene. One day I go up to him at a race and he had this gear set on. And I was like, man, Lowry, like that kit's so clean. You know what I mean? And then he proceeds to tell me, and boys, this is where I would 10 out of 10 recommend. This is where I discovered it through Logan Lowry. So shout out Logan Lowry. But uh, Rocky Mountain closeouts. This set of gear here, I got for 20, 20 or 30 bucks. Whole set, not even making that up. And it's still lasted me this long. Um, I've had to do a couple sew jobs on the sleeve. I think it's on the other side. I don't even, oh no, I didn't even notice this. I got a tear in here, that's a sad day. But anyways, yeah, 10 out of 10 recommend some Troy Lee designs. Moose, I really like this gear a lot. Um, I also have this problem where I'm really skinny. So, and I'm just a really small guy in general, so finding stuff that really, like, really fits me good is kind of difficult. This gear doesn't fit me the best, as far as, like, it's just kind of, like, more on the baggy side, you know what I mean? But honestly, though, no complaints, man. I've got zero complaints about this gear. I'd give it, like, a, I'd give it, like, a 7 or an 8 out of 10. We'll give this gear set a 10 out of 10. We'll give this gear set, like, a 6 out of 10. Um... Yeah, I mean, it's nice in the winter, but the pants, I don't really like the pants on them. The jersey's nice. Uh, the colorway's sick. This Rasta theme, I really like it. And this fly gear here, I'd give a 9 out of 10. Moving on, I know this is going to be a highly debated subject um, in the comments. I really don't care. Um, it's a highly debatable debate in the motocross world. I run the TP199s, the knee pad. Um... I was a big knee brace guy for years, 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 years. Thought there was nothing better. And then, you know, one day I'm on YouTube going down uh, the YouTube rabbit hole as one does. See that Ryan Hughes on the Gypsy Tales podcast brings up a fair point about uh, the knee braces versus the knee pads. I don't want to get into it unless you guys want me to make a video about it. Then I'll debate with some people. But right now I'm just trying to show you guys the stuff I run and why I run it. So I switched over, uh, actually no, that's not even what happened. So one day I went riding and I left my knee braces at one of my good buddies' house. So I call up my roommate Harrison, I go, Harrison, I don't have my knee braces, can I run uh, your knee pads? And he has, he has a set of these as well. And I went riding and I ran them. And ever since then, I, I had to get me a set. I just found with these, like these are, these really helped me out a lot as far as like corners, um, just being mobile on the bike. Um, I don't know. It's almost like I added another tool to my tool shed. And, you know, I just really like the mobility you get with these as far as the protection. Because I know that's, you know, what everyone's, you know, huge on. Oh, how well they protect you compared to a knee brace. I have never ran into any issues. Um, they protect my knees just as well. And I've had some pretty hard spills in my time with those on. So... I'm not going to lie to you guys, 10 out of 10 recommend those. Um, I think if you're not running those, like I get it if you're more of a knee brace cat. But if you're kind of on the fence, highly recommend running them. You might as well as give them a shot. They're only like 100 bucks. Now, whew, as far as my boots, these are the, granted, they look like garbage right now. Um, I haven't, my, my bike's still dirty from when I broke my collarbone. I haven't even, I don't know, it just makes me sad to come out here and look at it. But anyways... I run the CD Crossfire 2s. I got these my senior year of high school, so I've had them about four years now. And uh, they're finally starting to show wear after four years. I mean, it took four years to get to this point. I absolutely love these boots. I know some people like stiff boots. Some people like, you know, more boots that have more give and flex. What I really like about these boots is uh, you can take the whole boot apart and uh, honestly rebuild it if you want to. Also, the amount of flex these boots have with all their hinges and stuff is unreal. It's honestly a cheat code on the bike. It makes corners so much easier. Cub, do you just want to be in the video? Okay. Kobe, set down. Shake. Kobe, shake. Oh, there it is. Nice to meet you, Mr. Kobe. Aw, what a cute boy. I'm gonna have to get a new set of boots, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably just gonna get another set of these. I mean, these are some uh, bad motherfuckers, I'm not gonna lie, that's literally the only way I can put it. Um, 
As far as, and it's cool when you're standing on the pegs because uh, because of all the hinges, you have so much more flex and stuff. You're just able, I just feel like it, you're able to do so much more on the bike with these uh, versus running a, a more stiffer boot, like, like a Tech 10 or something like that. So yeah, boys, that's my gear. That's what I run and that's why I run it. Little recap here, helmet, Suami helmets. 10 out of 10 recommend the MX Jump model. Little more on the pricey side, you're looking at about 400 bucks. But in my opinion, I think the helmet is the most important piece of protective gear. You don't want to throw a cheap helmet on there and that's not going to protect your head as well. You only get one brain, so. Bones, knees, you know, arms, collarbones, feet, ankles, wrists, all that shit heals. You know, you take a few good slams to the head and that, that could be it for you. So I highly recommend out of everything, investing in a good helmet over all of it. So MX Jump, Suami Helmet, recommend 100% goggles. Just a great goggle. Um, there's a lot of other great goggles out there, but that's just what I run personally. Liette Chest Protectors, best in the game. I, that's all I really got to say there. As far as gear goes, I'm still experimenting with gear. I'm still trying to find a set I like. I think the next set of gear I'm gonna probably invest in is some Alpine Star gear. I've just always wanted to run a set of that because I think it looks really cool. Um, but as far as all the gear I've ever ran, that Troy Lee Design stuff, by far the best stuff I've ever ran for sure. The TP199 EVS knee pad needs to be bought by all you guys. I understand that some of you guys might be on the fence or whatever, or you're just a knee brace guy, whatever. Just give it a try. It's a hundred bucks. I mean, they're a cheat code. They're a literal cheat code. So try those out. And then uh, boots, the CD Crossfire 2s, awesome boot. I, I got literally nothing bad to say about them. I can't even think of one flaw in the boot, personally. Like I could, I could think of some flaws on this other stuff over here. Can't think of uh, one single flaw on the CDs, so if I'm saying that right, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know. Anyways, so that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you made it all the way to the end, I really appreciate the shit out of all you guys. You guys are great. Let's keep running those numbers up. Keep subscribing. Excuse me. Tell all your friends um, if you found this video helpful, smash that like button. If you got any questions at all, leave them down in the comments below. I'll get back to you. I always do a really good job. I at least try to. I try to do a really good job of getting, liking all my comments. If someone has a question, getting back to you. So, if you got any questions, leave them down below. And I will see you in next week's upload on Tuesday. We'll be back with another vlog. And I'll catch you in next week's uploads, boys. Peace. Casey, the